Nature likes to change. Trees grow, plants grow, things change. Cycles constantly evolving. I'm curious about the world around me, and over the 30 years that we've been here, I've been constantly remapping, redrawing, as a way of looking more closely at the world that surrounds me. Noticing the variety, the interdependence, at the changing landscape of nature, you realize everything is relating to something else. All to take me and hopefully other people into an imaginative engagement with the world. Making and observing has centered me in my creative life and connected me to where I live. You have to observe to see what's there and you have to put it in the context of time to make sense of the actions that you are doing. Because time is such a subject when we think about our relationship to nature. A critical part of my making process is just keeping the records of what goes on. In 2010-11, I drew a map of observations over a year and then painted the whole map out. Trying to recall these events nine years later made me realize there's a number of things on there which no longer exist on this farm. They've disappeared from here now. Because they take time to make, there's lots of time to think. And one of the things that you think is you're destroying one thing to make another thing, smashing a rock to make another shape, planting a tree, so some future person can make a musical instrument with that tree is about overlapping time scales. My interest in bells started here on the farm. We got locked down with foot and mouth back in 2001 and it was absolutely a horrific time and completely the inverse of this present pandemic in that the world was going on as normal and it was chaos here on the farm. My neighbors asked me to make something to commemorate the hardship that we'd all been through and I thought it would be nice to have a democratic bell that anyone could ring because bells are a symbol of power and whoever rings a bell gives it its meaning. One of the many things that makes bells interesting for sculpture is because you can talk about loss, but you can also talk about celebration. And suddenly, I found myself in the time of COVID, making a piece from the ash trees that had been planted over 30 years ago. 
I never knew I was going to end up making bells and sculptures with those trees. I had a vision of them going on into the future. The only way I could think about the COVID was actually through the ash trees. All the scarring of the disease in the wood. It's random, so it brings in ideas about randomness. And I suddenly realized this connection with what was happening outside of the farm at that point with COVID and how random the disease was, affecting different people in different communities. And that became one of the focuses of the piece, this connection with the time that we're in, in the moment. Our relationship with the world is not neutral. Art is one of the ways in which we can both travel in time and see the effects of our action and engage in the time that we are. I had to slow time down in order to digest the complex overlapping time scales of the world that surrounds me. And that action of engagement through slowing time down has become the center of my creative life. <laughs> yeah. 